Hi everyone, this is Chris. I'm a volunteer at Hampstead Public Library. Today we are going to do an egg buoyancy experiment. Make sure you have permission from your parent or guardian to do this and have adult help and supervision as needed. Okay, let's get started. First, you'll need a common few household items. Two glasses of water, preferably clear, and make sure you leave some space at the top. One tablespoon. Two eggs, uncracked, unprocessed, unboiled, regular eggs, and then some table salt. You can have any salt, it doesn't matter if it's iodized, any salt should work. Now let's get started. First I want to show you what happens when you put the egg in water. We'll see what happens. Let's try that again. So as you notice, it sinks, right? Did you notice anything else? Now let's look closely. Now pay attention to the water level. You'll see how high the water is. Now, as you put the egg in, the water level rose. See where my finger was? Look at the new spot. Now that is called displacement. When the egg goes into the water, it takes up space. See this egg? It takes up space, right? So when you go into the water, it pushes water out of the way to make room for the egg. Now, this water displaces or moves upwards, and so there's a difference in this water level. Now, if you've ever been in a swimming pool, you'll know that when you go into the water, you almost feel weightless. And that is because of something called the buoyant force. Now, this buoyant force is equivalent to the weight of the water that's been displaced. So when you go into the water, you're a big person, right? So you move a lot of water which means your bo the buoyant force that's pushing you up is pretty high. And that's equal to the water displaced. Remember, the water displaced also has weight. This water weighs a certain amount. So, now let's look when we make the water a little bit different. Now, these two glasses of water are about the same, same water, about the same weight. We're going to put around five tablespoons of salt. So, and here's a quick trick. You can... What's it called? Pour the salt over the cup so that you'll catch them. One, two, three, four, and five. Now it doesn't have to be five exactly. You can probably, if you have to, you can go over. If you don't, you can go under and slowly add and see. So we're going to start dissolving the salt. That's just by mixing it, right? And so now we're going to think about what the salt does to this water. Now salt, as you know, it weighs something, right? It has weight. You can hold the salt in your hand and you can feel the difference in weight. So if we have two glasses of water that are basically the same, the salt will make the, this water heavier. Now remember, the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the water that's been displaced by the egg. So, if the weight of the, all the water in here is heavier, and the egg displaces the same amount of water, because the egg is the same size, that means that the buoyant force will be increased for the egg inside the salt water, which means the egg, maybe it'll float, maybe it'll sink. You need to determine that. What do you think will happen? So, we're just gonna keep on mixing the salt, keep on dissolving it. And then, it's going to be this cloudy white, And but if you know, if you ever mix sugar and water or salt and water, it seems like it disappears. So this is called dissolving. And so dissolving is when these salt particles, they break down into these microscopic particles that you can't see. And eventually, they'll become mixed in with the water, and you won't be able to see the salt anymore. This cloudy form will eventually turn clear if you let this sit for long enough. So... Now we're going to take this egg that was in here. We'll look at the water again. I'll let it I'll let it go at the top. It sinks. Now let's say it put it inside the salt water. Now what do you think will happen? Remember, the buoyant force in this salt water for this egg will be increased because this water's heavier. Do you think it'll float? Do you think it'll sink? Here we go. And would you look at that? It floats. Let's look at that again. 
Remember, pay attention. The water is also displacing here. Floats again. What if I push it down to the bottom? Think that will change anything? Nope. Still floats. And this is the reason that ships float too. If you think about it, ships, very big, very large, right? Well, ships also displace water. When they go into the ocean, water moves up. The water level rises a little bit. You can't tell because the ocean is so big, but it does. And the buoyant force from the ship, because so much water is displaced, that buoyant force is so large that these ships are able to float onto the sea, onto the ocean. Thanks for watching. Come back next week for another fun experiment and stay safe. This comes from a YouTube channel called Science and Math. Look up egg buoyancy testing. I'm sure you'll be able to find it for more information. Thank you for watching. See you next week.